everybody, welcome back, unboxing time, and we have tonight the September 2016 Horror Block. That's right, folks, I'm excited about this. Uh, I did get the August one, it came recently because they had to delay, but now we're getting this when we're supposed to, and this is gonna be the all Stephen King box. At least that's the way I understand it. It does say next month's Horror Block is all about Stephen King, so you can see that there. We're gonna have four exclusives in there, and it includes something from It and something from The Shining, so that is good company to be in. Uh, I am a big Stephen King fan, more movies than books, so I have read some of his short stories and really love it, so, you know, it could be a bunch of stuff. I haven't seen It or The Shining or anything in a long time, but those are movies that stick with me, so I should, knock on wood, get most of these references, so <laughs> we'll take a little drink of the vodka and club soda, and uh, let's kind of get into this bad boy, because I'm just excited to get into it and see what we get. Um, you know, I don't know, four exclusives, should have a shirt, all that kind of stuff, so, eh. and I know some of you guys have been liking having Mary in on these uh, unboxings, don't worry, she will be back for more of them. I just wanted to get this one out while it was uh, brand new. So, we'll open up, we do a little feel around, there's a plush. Ooh, I think that might be a Pennywise plush. That could be cool. There's a t-shirt. Um, something almost feels like a wig, maybe. Although, there's like a hanger involved there and a heavy placard. That's gonna be weird. Uh, looks like maybe a small book. I thought we might get an actual book, but that maybe it's a short stories book. Maybe it's a comic book kind of thing. It's sizable. And maybe an art print. So, uh, it'll be an okay box. It won't be my favorite, probably. Oh, I guess there's a room org, probably, in there. Uh, but let's get into it and see what the shirt is. That could be the coolest thing. Um, ooh. Ooh, okay, cool. <laughs> so, instead of taking a trip down memory lane, we will take a trip down misery lane. And we got the Kathy Bates uh, kind of silhouette there, and like the little cottage that, you know, she uh, stuck at, st has James Conn stuck at. Actually, that is a really cool shirt. Uh, that kind of makes me want to go watch Misery. It has been a while, but that is cool. I like that quite a bit. Scarefest coming up uh, in like two days for me. So, well, tomorrow from when you're watching this, so I may be wearing this out there. Awesome, awesome, very, very cool. That is a good shirt, I like that. We're winning already. All right, let's see what the plush is, because usually I don't like plushes, but I tell you what, I can tell by the hair pattern. This has got to be a Pennywise the Clown plush, and <laughs> who doesn't want t uh, Tim Curry plushes? It is. Oh, that is cool. Oh, that is cool. Unless you're afraid of clowns, then it's not cool, but I'm not afraid of clowns. I don't know what the hell's going on with all the creepy clown stuff lately, but uh, anyways, that is neat. Let's take a little look-see at that. Look at that awesomeness right there. We all float down here. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> that is cool, actually. I like that. That's a cool plush. So, uh, is it an exclusive? I don't know. I guess we'll have to look and see. Probably not. I bet you that's not an exclusive, but it's still very, very cool. Okay, I'm gonna go under this heavy placard. It feels like a plaque with like hair stuck to it. And it definitely hangs to a door or something. So I wonder if that's the shining bit. I don't know. Um, so we got a book. We got what's probably a print. I guess not a room org. Actually, this thing is fairly light in terms of how many items we're getting. Uh, that may be an autograph. Let's see what this is. Because I think that's probably an autograph. Which, uh, Yeah, it's an autograph. Oh, you know what though? It's a PJ Souls autograph. I was gonna say, I am not a huge fan of autographs. I just, you know, if you like them, that's cool. But like, that's why I'm not into BAM box or anything. But you know, like, for me, I, I don't really care about autographs. They don't mean anything to me unless I've worked with the person. Then I get them to autograph a couple things and it's way more personal. Like some of my favorite autographs are from uh, Lloyd Kaufman and Debbie Rashawn because they know me and we've had experiences together. And you know, they put stuff in there. And John Russo and Russ Reiner, those guys, they've all given me some cool stuff. But uh, anyways, there is Halloween and of course, Rock and Roll High School, baby. So you know I got that tie-in too with the Ramones and everything. And Carrie, Carrie, that's that's the tie-in, Carrie. And Stripes, I always forget about Stripes. And of course you get your certificate of authenticity. So you know, people can see that it's legit. But again, I mean, I don't know, having an autograph, especially, especially when you don't meet the person, like you don't go up to the booth and get the autograph, meh. But still, of all the people it could have been, that's a pretty cool one to get. So I'm good with that. I'll be all right with that. Um, so, I guess let's see the book before we get to this door hanging thing. Or is there still a print to be seen in here? Yeah, there's still a print. Let's see the print. Uh, okay, so I guess this is Dark Tower. I have not yet read Dark Tower. The movies ought to be pretty cool. But let's get that glare off there as best I can. I have to angle it. So you can see the print. Pretty cool art print. I feel like maybe if you're more familiar with the source material, you might get more out of that than I'm getting. And also, too, I'm just not a big art print guy. So honestly, this is a little bit weak in terms of type of items so far. Actually, everything is a little bit weak. You know, plush, autograph, print, 
you know, and a t-shirt, but I do like the t-shirt, but I do like the plush. As far as autographs go, I do like it. The print's kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, that's just about it, except for this, oh no, there's still a book, that's right, there's still a book, like it's a thin book though. So let's see what it is. If anything, it's short stories or maybe a coloring book? Or no, this is a Rue Morgue thing. Monstro, Monstro Bizarro, an essential manual of mysterious monsters by Lyle Blackburn. All right, well cool, I'll read that while you guys, uh, uh, so you've heard of Bigfoot, Yeti, the Loch Ness Monster, and maybe even the menacing Mothman, who once brought terror to Point Pleasant, West Virginia. But how about O, how about Ogopogo, the Mongolian Death Worm, or the Bishopville Lizard Man? Welcome to the world of mysterious real life monsters featuring a roster of cryptozo cryptozoological marbles. Blah de blah de blah de blah de blah. Okay, um, give you a little flip through. I'll show you the back here in a minute. But, uh, I don't know, maybe that's cool, I don't know. Uh... That might be kind of fun to read. There's the back, if you wanna check that out, maybe pause, you can read all the stuff I didn't feel like reading. But, um, I don't know, I'd rather have something about horror films, or something that's specifically about, like, the films of Stephen King, or, you know, the books that have been translated into, or even about the books, so... That's kind of a letdown. I really like the last horror block, so far this one, not so much. So we haven't got anything shining, uh, so as I kind of expect, this is going to be like some kind of shining Room 201 placard or something like that. What is it? Uh, oh, okay. Actually, oh, this might be kind of neat. So, yeah, you hang this on the wall or whatever. It's like a key hook. That could be cool, actually. Red rum, red rum, red rum. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's not bad. At least it's something unique, and I could totally use that. I don't know that I would hang this anywhere, but maybe, maybe. I, the more I think about that, that's one of those things I might end up with more uses for. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much it. We'll pull out the cards uh, and see what all is in here. Don't wanna flash anything, so. Uh, you know, you got your basic empty box, and you got your shirt punch credit, which I'm gonna use. Again, same puzzle piece as all the other ones this box. And again, we didn't get it in sci-fi block, but we did get a $10 nerd block shop credit. So that's cool. Launches October 20th, so we'll be checking that out. <coughs> All right, so let's look through what we got. Uh, the Red Rum Key Hook is definitely an exclusive, so boom, you can kind of see that there real quick and pause if you need to. Then the T-shirt is an exclusive, the plush is an exclusive, cool. The print is an exclusive, uh, the, art the autograph is an exclusive, everybody's getting PJ Souls. And interestingly enough, it shows a Rue Morgue magazine and not the book. And actually, I think I would have rather had the magazine, to be honest. Um, but there's the back. So I don't, I don't know if that's just a last minute change in things or something. But anyways, that's pretty much what that is. So, okay. Eh. Again, I don't know. This box wasn't as great. But again, that's how it goes with these boxes. Sometimes they're up, sometimes they're down. I think with Stephen King, there could have been a lot more stuff in there, a lot cooler things. Like, the book should have really been something tailored to him. Um, and again, it's just a preference of items. They don't really make me that excited. Uh, next month, the October box. Okay, this one should be pretty cool. We are going to get uh, an exclusive item from A Nightmare on Elm Street, which I absolutely love. That is, Freddy is my guy. If I had to choose of all the old OG slashers, Freddy tops the charts for me. Jason closely behind. Sorry, Jason Cousy. <clears throat> but uh, five exclusives it looks like, along with some killer exclusive items from Halloween and Hellraiser. So those are another couple of excellent franchises for the most part, so I'll be excited to see what we get there. So hopefully it'll be better stuff though, because again, I do like the, I mean the plush is pretty cool. The shirt is awesome, the plush is pretty cool. I like the idea of the key hook and everything, whether I can use it or not is another thing. But I mean, I don't need autographs, art prints, I mean, really? And uh, the book really doesn't tie into the theme at all, so. So it's a little bit of a disappointment. If I recall, my first horror block was fantastic. This one's meh, but that's how they go. I usually have maybe three or four out of 12 of sci-fi block, basing it on that, be ones I didn't really care much for. So I'm gonna put this in the category of one of those three out of four, hopefully. Knock on wood, that's how it'll be. So anyways, what did you guys think? Uh, are you disappointed in this box? Do you love this box? What was your favorite item? All that kind of stuff. Let's geek out about it down in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And of course, you can always give me that thumbs up of encouragement because I do love to be red rum. And I will see you guys later. <laughs>